What's up, guys? I'm an Power 12 with my sister again. Um, I went to an I went to a wrestling event. Um, and I met six people. There were seven WWE superstars there. Um, but only six of them did the meet and greet because one of them couldn't. He was a little bit late or something. And I had to give one autograph to my sister because the one that she wanted, we forgot to give her another one of. So I gave her my Big Daddy V Viscera autograph, but I kept the card that he signed, which turned out like absolute crap. Though. So that's going in her room. I want that one. Yeah, but she's getting this one because this is the person that, that I really was excited to meet. It's Ron Simmons. And I want the damn side. Yeah, but you're not getting it ever because. <laughs> Um, this is the one that I wanted the most. This one, no, it's not 50-50. This one, uh, he is a really nice guy. I should have went up to him and said 87%, but <laughs> and we had a good, we had a good picture. It's an Al Snow signed eight by ten. Yeah, he had me like, he had me like this, and I was like, <laughs> so that was funny. The last one that I got for an eight by ten is Teddy Long. Like how he signed it on both sides. So that was cool. <clears throat> you I also the... got him to sign a card, and he was a nice guy. All these people were really nice people. The, the Pokemon, but... And here's a signed Visser card. Can you see it? There you go. Should have gotten him to sign it in silver. He saw that. But... Oh, and by the way, he had a match with a guy. He went for like a black hole slam, and he broke the ring. The ring didn't collapse, but part of it snapped. And they had to take like a 10 minute intermission to fix it. And you can see Viscera, he pointed to the ring this one, Like, the ring broke. And you could see part of the wood. It was like totally off. And you can hear something gave. But anyways, this one t didn't turn out as nice as I thought, but it still turned out nice. It's a Boogeyman autograph card. Signed it in gold. He was amazing. It, I went to two shows. One at 1.30 and one at 5.30. And he had a match with someone, and he picked me up in the ring with a few other guys. And, um... Same with me, but last time. Yeah, she got the same thing except last time. Except I got the voodoo doll on this. Yeah, outfit. he gave her a piece of his outfit. And that was cool. <clears throat> but he picked me up in the ring, and this guy that was on the ground, he was heel. And I went, you know, I waved at him like anyone home. Then he took, took a worm on the ground and threw it at me. So that was pretty funny. Um, this one smudged like a mother canucker. <laughs> Teddy Long. Boo! That stinks. It looks nice, but it just smudged. Like, it looks nicer on camera, but person, it smudged, but he was a great guy. And this one that turned out absolutely amazing. I knew it was going to turn out great, but I love how this turned out. It's a Paul Bearer. Signed classic. I knew that was going to turn out nice because these are very autograph friendly. And when he signed it in silver, he he really took his time with the uh, autograph. And that looked very, very nice. It was hilarious, too. I, I should show you the picture. It looks even sicker in, per in person. So, yeah, now I'm going to show you what I got at the shop. First of all, the first show I went to, I got an Edge and Christian shirt. Positively awesome. I bought it for 16 bucks, and someone stole it. Some jackass stole it. And I was pretty upset. <laughs> no, was it the... Um, uh, was it? I'll show it to you later. Josh, shut up. No, I'm just kidding. But it was, I really wanted that shirt, and someone stole it. Some asshole stole it. Um, so that was a bit of a waste of 16 bucks, but... Then the guy there said, all right, I, I, I feel bad for you, so you can pick a shirt later on tonight. This letter's clean the ring, so that was cool. And I got this shirt, which is nasty. Uh, um, So that was cool. And I got this for six bucks, which was a pretty big hit. I saw quite a few people wearing this. And they had the Broski headband for ten bucks, and I can get it for four on WWE Shop. I got this for six bucks. It's a Miz pendant, which is... Abby, we can see you on a ladder in the background. But yeah, I love this. It's so cool. So, 
glad I got that. And I think I got two more things, maybe? Oh, yeah, and one of them is downstairs. I'll pause the video so I can show you. Okay, um, I'm back, and my stupid-ass sister left. Faggot. Um, <clears throat> I got this DVD for 12 bucks. Viva La Raza, Eddie Guerrero. Um, my dad was like, whoa, that's really good. I've seen some of the documentaries, like, talk, match, talk, match, talk, match. And then, I think the, and, I think the last two discs are straight up matches, but it has 25 matches in a documentary. Wow. <laughs> um, that's pretty sick for 12 bucks. That's really good. So, and I think, as I said, like, the Boogeyman turned out good. I just wish it was a little bit more visi visible. In person, it looks pretty good. The A really smudged. Not sure if you can see that. But, there you go. Teddy Long smudged like a mother canucker. Like, this, Jesus Christ, this really smudged. But Paul Bear, he took his time, and it turned out pretty badass. So, and the 8x10s look great. Um, my favorite one out of those. Well, I like how Teddy Long signed it on both sides. Al Snow looks nice. Oh, oh, I just noticed this. He signed it head right there, too. I actually just noticed that. That's cool. Ron Simmons looks sick, and that, that Big Daddy Bees is Adams. So I gotta say, Ron Simmons is the coolest. So. And I still got a few more things to put up on my wall. Running out of room. But, um. That's my video, guys. And, peace out.